What's going on guys? It's Widgen here, back with another video about Roblox. Um, so I'm here demonstrating my minimap plugin that I made. Um, so you can go download it in the description. Um, so I, I made it so you can uh, select areas pretty easily and uh, do super sampling and other performance related things. So if you go install it, you can uh, just open it up in studio here. You'll see the drag handles appear and you can uh, just kind of select the area that you would like to uh, take an image of. Um, it will uh, change the image size as you drag these handles um, so if you uh, make a really big image um, you'll have to change the pixels per stud um, which you can do in the uh, the widget tab um, so I'm going to change the uh, uh, pixels per stud here to 2 um, and adjust the image size for 2000 by 1600 um, the ray length there is uh, going to be like 300, um, that's how uh, long the rays will fire for and the longer they are the more performance it will take, so the longer it will take. Uh, when you hit inject scripts you'll see that all of the uh, scripts are injected into uh, those areas. Those are so the server and the client can communicate when it processes all of the lines of data. Um, so if you open up a row render now, uh, it's a jar file, you can just uh, install the GRE, so just go Google, download Java, um, and then you can hit start server there. Um, start server will uh, start listening for events. Um, make sure you go into uh, HTTP settings, or game settings, and enable uh, HTTP requests, otherwise uh, nothing will work. So you can uh, input the number of CPU cores into the number of players, so I have an 8 core CPU, so I'll do 8 players. Uh, once you hit start server, uh, the server will start uh, sending requests to all of the clients to do lines of data. Um, and then once the server receives those lines of data, it will start sending it to the row render server. Um, every so often, the server will output uh, an ETA um, telling you uh, how long it has until all the lines of data are done. So there it said two minutes, so take two more minutes. Uh, once it's done, you can just export it with that button there, um, save it as whatever, wherever, um, and uh, once it's saved, uh, it should come out something like that. Um, it's pretty neat. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye.